picture this. You're running a thriving 3D print lab from the comfort of your own home. Maybe it's in your attic, maybe it's in your basement or your garage, whatever workspace that you have. You set certain expectations for your turnaround times based on what your customers are wanting, what you're building, and now you want to take a vacation. Problem, how are you going to maintain your sales and support your customers while you're away? You think to yourself, well, maybe I won't go for a full month. Maybe I'll just do a week this time. Only that doesn't really solve the problem for you. It just kind of kicks the bucket down the road. Here is my continuity plan that I used to earn more while I'm on vacation, while also not disappointing all of my customers. It starts with making an announcement. You need to put a banner on your website or have some kind of auto reply if you're on platforms and you need to also put this at the top of your product description. I would say something like this. The shop owner is going to be on vacation from, insert time period, let's say I'm going to be gone all of July, and any orders that I receive during this time will be delayed. There will be a 15% discount on all orders that occur while I am away. And that's it. You essentially offer a discount in exchange for setting the expectation that there will be a shipping delay. You also want to reach out to your larger clients, maybe a little bit ahead of time. So I would place my banner on my website about a week before I'm going to leave, but I would actually reach out to my bigger clients, the people that place bigger orders, and I would tell them maybe a month in advance, hey, look, this is what I have planned. Just wanted to let you know, orders will be delayed. Sometimes you'll even trigger a nice order because they don't want that delay. Maybe they were planning to place an order and now you've triggered it. This will keep your larger clients happy, setting a proper expectation, while also ensuring that you won't get a stream of people who want refunds because they didn't know about the turnaround times. Sometimes a person or a business will have deadlines and there's just no way around that. But in general, I was able to increase my sales on my own website while leaving my customers happy. How did I handle the backlog? I had 12 printers at any given time though, I was really only using six to 10. As soon as I get back from vacation, I could boot up all 12, take care of the backlog, and any new orders that came in, you know, from the time I got back, those orders also weren't delayed because I was able to now just push my print lab to its max. I did have to work a couple weekends just to get some orders out that, you know, needed to go out. Heads up, you might plan for that. But outside of that, as long as you have a few extra printers to handle your overage, you should be good with handling a backlog if you want to take a vacation. Also, you may get some orders, like within that last week you're about to leave, that you won't be able to ship by the time you leave. The way I've handled that is by reaching out to those customers personally, just telling them the same thing, and offering them a discount, either in the form of a refund on what they've already purchased, giving them a percentage off, or I will say, here's a coupon and you can use it later if you want it. I give them the option of choosing, which anytime you can give a customer options and they get to choose, they're the ones in power and they usually respond more positively than just making an announcement like, hey, this is gonna happen, sorry about it. So offer them a small discount and give it in the form of a refund if you have to, or give them a coupon. More than likely, they're gonna be just fine with that and you can leave and go on your vacation stress-free. That's all for today, folks. I've just shared an excellent way to keep your customers happy and reclaim some of your vacation time. I hope this video has helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this channel. Thank you very much. Onward and upward.